Okay, this is part two of my three-part um, little quick uh, question and answer from our Business Masterminds um, guest, Nadia in Hayward, California of Rebellious Artistry. She wants to know, how do I add my logo to images? This time I'm going to do the training in PicMonkey, which is another favorite of mine. Um, PicMonkey, like Canva, is a great tool. Um, it has a little less constraints and you could do a little bit more. So um, this would be moving from the beginner a little bit to the beginning of intermediate stage. So um, I'll teach you a couple tricks. Let's get started. Okay, I'm not going to go over how I got here or how to add images since I do that in my mini course, Beginner's Guide to Awesome Graphics with Canva. Um, if you do want to learn more about how to use Canva, just go to www.sociallynina.com and just put your email address in one of the boxes. Um, there's going to be a pop-up in the top bar and you'll get the training for free. But for now, I'm just going to add this image. Um, I'll just drag it here. Okay. It's kind of big, but anyways, I'll add it here. Okay, so now I have my image. I didn't use any template, just dragged to the screen. And I'm gonna look for my logo, which I already have here. Okay, and I'm gonna resize it. Again, I teach this all in my course, so I'm not gonna go over how to resize. Okay, since the pink is very similar to the background color, I'm going to need something that kind of um, separates it. So this is really easy. I'm going to go up to search and go to shapes. You could use any shape, but for me, and actually I'm going to see if I could use the heart, but it's going to probably be too um, big. So um, I'm going to use this one. The first, or the square all the way on the right is a transparent square. I clicked on the eye to see that. Um, each of the eyes give you more information on the type of square it is. Sorry, I did too. So I'm just going to resize this to about the size of my logo. Okay, so just using the handlebars. Okay, now I want to click on back because I want it behind my logo. Okay. And if you want, you could change the color, change the transparency. So I'm going to go to transparency and this change it just a little bit more there. Okay. So then that looks actually pretty nice. And then that's it for Canva. It was pretty, pretty easy. Um, I'm going to move on to the second video where I will show you how to do it with PicMonkey. Hey, so did you like that video? If so, please like and subscribe. If anything didn't make sense or you have a question still, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.